Hey guys, out at the barn today. I'm gonna spend some time getting this old M ready to paint. So I've been sanding. And there was a big dent here and I pounded that out. I'm gonna sand this thing down to one half done. This is what it looked like originally. Kind of rusty. Right in through here, I'm a little worried about that. I'll have to wire that out so it's all clean in there. And then I'm probably gonna spray it up with some of this stuff. I think this stuff will work pretty good. Rust Reformer, Rust Oleum, pretty easy, converts rust. It uh, kind of goes on black, stays black looks black. I've sprayed on other stuff and it seems to be not surface rusting or anything so I'm gonna spray that on some places but then I'll spray the rest of it. Only where I can't get in good, you know where I can convert to rust and places like like this where it's gonna be a little pitting. See how it's gonna be a little pity? I'm gonna do that and then I'll probably sand it off again uh, and that way that'll leave that rust converter down in the pits and then I'm gonna hit it with a 2K primer. I don't think I'm gonna use that rust reformer on the whole tractor. I mean, it'd take me like 900 cans. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is wire it off and then 2K prime it. Well, I bought this tractor at the sale last month and it is like the newest old tractor I ever got. Everything's tight, it's just perfect. The brakes work good. It's a Super M, which makes it super interesting. It's got like, a Super M has like 11 more horsepower compared to a regular M and that's it right there. SM. It's awesome. So it's got electric start, six volt. These things are positive ground, which was a weird thing they did back in the day. I don't know why they did that. I was thinking about converting it and I thought, nah, I got a hot battery. I can always convert it later down the road. But anyway, I think I'm coming out miles ahead. I really, I bought it at the sale. I really had a step up to it, I thought, because I went up to 1600 bucks. And then with tax and 10% auction fee, got me close to what? Two grand total. But then I got online and I've got on YouTube and I'm watching some guys, really cool guys, and saw what they sunk in their tractors because they had to rebuild the whole thing from start to finish. And they're in thousands, 8,000, 13,000 for a MD. You're running the money with diesels no matter what you do. But I like this tractor. It didn't run when I, when I went to buy it, but everything checked out pretty nice. I mean, it spun over nice. I could test that. The battery was dead. Somebody evidently had tried to fix it get it running and it just didn't. First thing we did of course was drain this guy out, the carburetor, old gas, just wouldn't fire. We put fresh gas in it and within a half an hour we had the old girl running. And they were driving it around a little bit. I have a video I'm gonna put up with that too. If you're into this kind of thing, which I am, maybe too into it because I still got my case project sitting outside now. I gotta get that back in here and get working on that. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna work on today guys. The Super M. I'm kind of glad I don't have to tear it all apart, every nut and bolt, and redo the whole thing because I don't see any point in that. I'm going to get it so it charges on its own and runs and starts. Shifts good. Everything about it's good. And I'll never wear this tractor out. I mean, what is it? It's a 54. And that makes it, okay math guys, how old is it? The 54? Oh, I'm going to have to come back to this. I got to take my shoes off and all that to count that up. Anyway, it's like 70 years old. Wait a minute. I'm a 62. This is eight years older than me. Gosh, that makes it 67 years old. See, there's ways around math. Just gotta know how old you are. Tires aren't great, but you know what? These tires will hold air for a long time. I don't know, they're good years with the diamonds on them. I think this sat in a shed that was damp because the rubber's not so bad. It didn't sit out in the sun. And these tires, I think, I think they're probably, I don't know, maybe the second set. I'd love to think it's a second set of tires on this. But I really don't care. I just think it's going to be a nice tractor. Get it all painted up clean and we'll pull stuff with it. This is the wiring is kind of trash. I'm going to rewire it. I'll probably just make my own loom because I don't want to spend 200 bucks on it. I'm kind of cheap. This needs cleaning. The switch. I'm not buying a new switch. These switches work. For some reason they have a fuse sticking out through here. I don't know what that's about. But when I do the wiring I'll figure that out. Even the amp gauge. I don't think that's bad. So I'll, I'm gonna tape it off on the, on the glass and I'll just paint that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm using this Bauer DA, it's still holding up pretty good. We sanded a couple things with it already and I like it's got the variable speed, which is great. I wish these grinders, I got these grinders, like this cheap grinder here that I got downtown. Works great, but it's, it's, there's no variable speed at all and it really, really goes too fast. Other than that, I like it, but it's too fast. And you always gotta wear eye protection with these or you get stabbed in the eyeball with one of these flying wires. 
That's another thing, the wires are always flying off. Anyway, I got a video on this bower. Maybe I'll put it in the link in the description in this, uh, this video. Um, went from hook and loop to this. They have these at Harbor Freight too, the pad, and it's only a couple bucks. Anyway, back to work. All right, I don't know if this paint was original, but we got some runs. I didn't even see them until I started sanding. So I don't know if this original tractor run or must be this was a repaint. So probably 40 years ago, I don't know. But back to work. Sometimes I tend to be a little too cheap. Keep running the sandpaper until it's smooth. <laughs> New piece, got some bite. This old piece, not so much anymore. So I'm gonna change out my sandpaper instead of beating on it with a piece of wore out sandpaper. The thing is, sandpaper, what's about a buck a piece? Maybe, I don't know, whatever it is. So when it's done, it's done. Get your fresh piece of sandpaper on there and go back to work. Instead of uh, trying to save a nickel on sandpaper, running electric and wasting time. There we go. Back to work again. I should have changed that a lot earlier. Man, this new piece of paper is making a huge difference. Yep, time to change it out again. I'm gonna stick these two together like this. And I can still use them for cleanup. Back to work. Looks like I got a couple little dents to deal with. I'm gonna have to tap them out. It's not much. Probably hardly worth doing, to be honest, but I'm gonna try using this guy. See if I can get that guy to bring that out a little bit. Feel that dent right there. there go. We'll see if that does better. Got a little rounded on the end there. Pretty strong steel. There's a funky crease here I gotta get rid of. I think I got this pretty good. Pretty good enough. There's a little spot there though I want to do something with. dent there still. Go like this, hit it on the side. Hey Gally, that brought it out pretty nice. I don't think it's going to look too terrible. You got to hit it hard enough to move the metal. There's another funky crease. Much easier doing it this way. Having a hammer from the backside is a pain. Getting there, looking pretty good. All right, back to the old sander. Well, that was a lot. Ah, oh, didn't look too bad though. Get you a nice up close look here. Pretty much cleaned out all that scabby rust through here. All through all those. Now, the tricky part, I gotta get on the back side. Look at it, it's all full of rust in there. It looks like surfacey rust all over the place. So, I think what I'm gonna do is lay it on the bench. I'll use that slower wire wheel because I don't wanna fight with that big thing on this. Maybe I can get on it with the sandpaper though too. All right, I gotta see how this guy does on this. Whoa, already got away from me. Wow, you can really see a junk flying. I gotta get my mask back on. All right, let's see what happened here. 
So this is all three's versatile. That's dusty. I don't know if you can see it on the film, but it's dusty. I gotta do each one of these little rails. It's gonna take forever. Whew, this is a pain in the neck. All right, I got it. Woo -wee. Wow, looks like I got it. Messed up my hair doing it though. That ain't good. Anyway, um, not bad. Now I gotta get working on the hood. <laughs>